Apex Legends has been out for more than a year and a half now, and through it all, there has been one legend I have found that has been extremely consistent throughout all of the seasons, and that legend is Bangalore. Bangalore really has not changed at all since the launch of Apex Legends. However, what has changed is people's abilities and skills with the game. As people have been mastering Apex Legends, a lot of new tips and tricks have come into the game where people are using these legends in different scenarios. And with that, I figured let's do a guide on how to master Bangalore in Apex Legends Season 6. Bangalore is not an overly complicated legend to play, but with that, there's a lot of little tips and tricks I'm going to give you guys in this video to help you excel at using Bangalore. Her smoke, her ultimate, and her passive abilities all will give you a little edge when you're going into engagements if you know how to use them properly. There is almost no better legend, in my opinion, for the solo player than Bangalore. Her ability to get into situations and get out of situations is bar none to any other legend. My name is Tim Provision, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get started with how to master Bangalore in Apex Legends Season 6. One last thing before we get started, I just wanna say thank you so much for my previous master guide video. This was on Wraith. This is the best video on my channel by like 20 or 25 times. So thank you so much. If you guys wanna support me, and if you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Beginning with Bangalore's passive ability, her passive ability is called Double Time. Double Time will activate when you're getting shot at and bullets and or grenades barely miss you. And during this phase, you'll have a 30% increase in run speed for about two seconds. This passive ability can be great for escaping out of situations when the enemies are shooting at you and you wanna just get away. But this passive ability can also be great for when you're pushing into a fight. If you're really running at someone and this activates, you're gonna be able to close that gap 30% faster which is really critical. You'll see on screen here, I'm running through a hallway and these guys are barely missing me. I get that ability increase and I'm able to close that gap and finish this fight really quick. Moving on from Bangalore's passive ability, we're gonna talk about Bangalore's tactical ability. And this is the smoke launcher. She can get two smoke charges, so she can use two consecutively. And they have a total cooldown of about 33 seconds. It's a very obvious ability. You know, you deploy smoke down for cover for various reasons. And we're gonna go through a lot of different scenarios here how you can use this smoke canister. But this is really what makes Bangalore special are these smokes in my opinion. If you're using these smokes wisely and smartly, you're gonna be able to push into fights better. You're gonna be able to escape from fights better. So the first example to talk about is the most obvious one. And this is to use the smokes as cover. A well-placed smoke can get you out of almost any situation. You're gonna see here on screen, I'm popping a smoke for my teammate and then for myself. And we're gonna escape from this fight because we had another team pulling in from the side of us. And you'll see I also pop my ultimate ability to make sure I'm really deterring anyone from following us on that zip line. This is what makes Bangalore so great. So that's one smoke ability. Use it to cover your teammates and for yourself when you need to escape a fight. The second scenario I want you guys to use your smokes for is the opposite of what we just talked about. And that's to use your smokes as cover when you're pushing a scenario. And this could be any point of the game. You're gonna see here on screen, we're pushing an end game scenario where there's four squads left in this very tight circle. And this team on top of the roof has a huge power play position over us. And I'm gonna end up using my smokes here to give us cover to get into the next circle. And this just gives us a fighting chance at this end game where if I didn't have these smokes or if we didn't have any sort of cover, there's no way we would have been able to climb up this hill here and walk in the open up to the end circle. So use your smokes wisely. Use it as cover also when you're making pushes. We got slightly unlucky here where we got targeted by both the tunnel team and then after that the roof team. So we couldn't come out on top, but still I gave us that fighting chance. Finally guys, there are a few more obvious scenarios for you to use smoke. One is to revive your teammates. If your teammates are down and they're not in good cover, you can just pop that smoke on them and you'll have pretty good cover to go in and revive them. Second up is to smoke enemies to blind their vision. The smoke grenade canister will also do 10 damage to them, so that is a little bit of damage, even though it is kind of insignificant. But you can smoke on an enemy, and this will kind of disorient them, and they won't be able to really see where you're coming from. So that's great to do. And finally, the big thing to remember about smokes is that digital threats and bloodhounds can see through them. 
So for you, if you have a digital threat on your gun and you're a Bangalore, this is huge. You can smoke enemies and you can see right through it. You can shoot them really easily. Something that people don't really think about too often. But to counter that, you also got Bloodhounds who they can see through the smoke if they're ulted and their scans. So if you're fighting a Bloodhound and there's a lot of Bloodhounds out right now, especially if you're in ranked, the ping is insane. Bloodhound is insane right now. So they can see right through those smokes. Just keep that in mind. Always be aware of who you're fighting. A good player will know who their enemy is at all times, so keep that in mind. So this is Bangalore smoke in a nutshell. There is no better legend, in my opinion, for getting into a fight and getting out of a fight. So pick up Bangalore if you really want to try to improve your movement ability. The passive ability, in addition to the smoke ability, can really do wonders if you're trying to get in and get out of fights really efficiently and kind of have that extra survivability with those smoke grenades is really what you're looking for with Bangalore. The final thing to cover with Bangalore is her ultimate ability, and her ultimate ability is called Rolling Thunder or Creeping Barrage. And this ultimate takes 180 seconds to charge. It basically just throws down a barrage of missiles that'll each do about 40 damage each. In addition to that, they will also slow the enemy and they'll slow your teammates, but they won't damage your teammates. So keep that in mind if you're using your ultimate. It'll definitely slow down your teammates and you don't really want that to happen. There's a few different scenarios that we're gonna go over right here where using your ultimate would be most appropriate. In my opinion, her ultimate really isn't all that great, but it can kind of help you engage with the scenario and help you kind of corner off a portion of the map that maybe you don't want someone to come over to you or kind of help you get into a portion of the map depending on where you're putting this ultimate ability. So the first ultimate ability scenario that I want to talk about is to use your ultimate to keep enemies away. And I find this is what the most useful scenario for your ultimate really is. A good player or even a decent player will know that getting hit by a Bangalore's ultimate will not only let the enemy know where you are, it'll slow you down and it gives you a little bit of damage. So you can use your ultimate to really kind of corner off a portion of the map. If you know there's a couple teams maybe coming at you, you can throw your ultimate in one area and then you can go fight another team. And that's what I'm doing here on screen. I down this one person and then I get pinged. And I know here that there's two teams left. So I throw that ultimate ability in the direction of the ping. So I kind of keep that portion of the map under control. And I can know that no one really is gonna come from over there now. I down the guy and then I can go over and heal up while that ultimate ability is going off. So I give myself that kind of safety net to get back into the game after I get to full health so we can fight that final team. So the second major scenario I want to discuss in regards to the ultimate ability is to use the ultimate to force an enemy to move or even to damage them. You can see here in this end game scenario, I pop my ultimate ability and we're in this power position for once, unlike the previous one, we're at the high ground now. So I throw my ultimate ability down and they have pretty much nowhere to go. So they're forced to rotate to the right, kind of right under us. And this gives us a huge advantage on them. We're able to shoot down on them. They're the ones kind of panicking here because they know they're in a tough spot. This really comes down to great positioning, and I'm thinking maybe I'll do a video on this in another video where I talk about positioning. Right here, you can see they don't wanna take the damage. Honestly, maybe they should have just took the damage, but I throw the ultimate ability down, they have a rotate right, and this gives us a huge advantage over them. And this really goes hand in hand with the overall arcing theme of the ultimate ability for Bangalore is the Rolling Thunder can be used to catch enemies off guard. This can also mean catching an enemy off guard with, when they're rotating. If someone is rotating with the storm at their back in end game scenario and you throw that ultimate ability down, they're in a huge bind where either they gotta eat major storm damage or they gotta just run right through the ultimate ability, which often that's kind of what you do because you can't stay in the gas. Unlike a game maybe like Fortnite or Call of Duty, you don't really have any time at all in an end game scenario where the gas is gonna eat you up here, so they have the rotate. So you guys, those are the basic tips and tricks for Bangalore. Hopefully this helped you out, and if it did, hit that like button, and if you wanna support me, subscribe to the channel, come back, say hello. Your support means the world to me, thank you so much. And if you guys have any more Bangalore questions, or if you wanna talk about other legends, or just Apex in general, stop by one of my Twitch streams, I stream almost daily. And if you guys want another way to reach me, you can hop into our Discord. And I say our Discord because it's really a place for my community and our community to thrive and engage. So drop in there, say hello. You guys, thank you so much for checking out this video again. I appreciate it so much. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.